Well, hello there. I wanted to uh, make a video to let everyone know how life's been going. Life's been pretty busy. Life's been changing. Last time I talked to you guys, I was working two jobs, trying to make ends meet. And that has all changed. I am now only working one job. I'm no longer bartending. Uh, in the meantime, I have made a life decision. I have a roommate. Uh, in the last video, you heard me speak of my friend Ashley. My friend Ashley is now living here with me, and she comes with a plus one. Now, plus one meaning she has a daughter. Uh, she's five years old. Her name is Aira, and you will be meeting both of them very shortly on some of our adventures. But for now, we're going to talk about Sabrilius and last of all, Spanky. Now, Sabrilius has been doing fine, been running great getting everybody to and fro and i honestly have not been driving it much uh i've been letting ashley drive it most of the time she's been getting her daughter to and from school who just started kindergarten this year so it's been uh, a busy little vehicle the little grocery getter the you know the soccer mom rig if you want to call it that me on the other hand i've been riding the bike one problem about riding the bike is it's dangerous to commute on on these roads everyone's distracted you know these everything's going on everyone's doing something there's work zones everywhere it's been cold in the morning so riding the bike's been a little on the brutal side and something else happened to spanky now after putting this miles on it and commuting back and forth if you remember right, I was having these trouble noises coming from the bike. I changed the chain. I thought I fixed it, quieted it right down. Yeah, yeah, I quieted it right down temporarily while it was under tension. Come to find out, after putting a bunch of miles on it and running to and from work every day, the, uh, the clunking noise came back and it got way worse. And I figured out what it was. It wasn't the chain by any means it was the bearings in the wheel now if you look at it you can see I can just wiggle the wheel back and forth and then the chain tension just comes and goes so I burnt up the wheel wheel bearings in the rear tire and what do I do do I fix it do I spend the time I had been talking about selling it for a little while. Didn't really want to sell Spanky. Spanky's been great to us. It's been a lot of fun riding around with some friends. But I've got some other friends that really like the bike. And I don't really have the time to work on the wheel right now. Or the money. So my buddy Tim is going to buy the bike from me. Nice thing about Tim buying it. It stays around. I get to see it. It's a friend of mine. So it's going to a good home. For sure. I feel great about that. So, yes, Spanky is leaving. It's been a great bike. It's been a lot of fun. It's more bike than I ever needed. It's been my dream bike for a while. At least I got to own it and have fun on it for a while. But Spanky is going somewhere else. 
Now, Tim also had just bought his girlfriend a CRF 150 with white plastic. It matches this bike almost perfectly. They're going to be like twinning. It's going to be cute. But I'm really happy that it's going to Tim and, and nowhere else. Now, as far as everything else goes, it's time to start concentrating back on Sabrilius. The whole idea of the channel was to do the overlanding thing, but Sabrilius is not set up to be taking anybody overlanding right now. All of my overlanding gear is gone. The only thing I got left is a, well, a fridge. I got a couple awnings. I got the camp shower, camp toilet, and 40 inch tires. Other than that, oh, no, and I have adjustable shocks. Ooh, which is really nice when you're going off-roading, trust me. They have proven themselves well worth the money. But in the meantime, it's time to start working back on the Jeep, trying to get it a little bit more off-road, overland capable. That way the whole fam damnly can go along and we can have some fun. So that is the future of Sibelius. That's the future of the channel. That's what we're going for right now. It's time to start building Sibelius back, paying homage to where the channel came from. So in the meantime, stay tuned and we'll keep you updated.